Hi everyone, this is Gavin from Gavin's Gadgets. Now this is the Burston Audio Playmate 2 that I reviewed recently and I'll leave a link to the original review in the description box below. But today I'm going to take the lid off the top, I'm going to show you how you take out the op amps, put the new ones in and this will give you some good ideas if you're doing this on any equipment and I've spent a lot of time comparing the V6 Classic op amps from Burson Audio versus the V6 Vivid also from Burson Audio. So I'm going to show you now how you do it, how you change it, then I'm going to talk about the sound quality between the two different devices. Obviously, first of all, no power, and you have four screws here. Don't mix the back from the front, and you simply unscrew four screws here. And when it comes to the rear, you've got four more screws here and here, and those need to be taken out. But don't mix the front screws and the backs, they're different sizes. So obviously, as I said, the screws are slightly different sizes to keep them separate. But once you've taken all the four screws, this beautiful designed part here, which actually is the heatsink, built-in heatsink at the same time, just simply lifts off like so. Now what you have is here and here, that's the left and that's the right, and we're going to put those in situ. And you'll notice that I'm wearing gloves so my fingers don't touch them. And I have some extractor tools to carefully remove this out. So I'm going to take the first one should come out like so and try and lift straight up second one try not to bend the pins if you can now with this there is like you've got the groove down here you can see that and that will match the groove it's just like groove in there and you line up and push down and the groove here is facing the other way and there's the groove in here and actually the, the sort of uh, V6 Vivid Dual logo faces the other way and we line up make sure that's in and literally it's just a question of putting all the screws now back on into the heatsink and screwing this all together. Remembering that the front has slightly different size screws. Just do a quick check and that is it. I've done the front, done that. And that is as simple as it gets. Really, really simple. And then what you can do, remember not to use your these are the original ones. You want to keep those and um, put them in there. And these are the classic versions. And I've been swapping them out. And I'll now just uh, talk about the difference in the sound quality. Obviously, it's something you want to keep swapping out. But again, you saw how easy it was. If you've got a device that has op amps, you can use there's different sizes that you can get in different ones and they are relatively easy just make sure you've got various tools i found sometimes when you're dealing with very compact uh, everything's really narrow this was quite a good tool to get in between narrow places i've even got another tool like this which grabs it like so but again just have the right tool for the right piece of equipment and job done now I'm going to talk about the difference in the sound quality between the Classic and the Vivid that are in the machine currently. So what you would have noticed when you looked at the original op amps that I took out versus the Burson ones that went in, that they have quite a large enclosure. And the reason for that enclosure is that it helps improve temperature tolerance. They've also engineered reverse power circuit protection. So if you put them in the wrong way around, it won't damage them. And according to Burson Audio, they're the only op amps in the world that can do this. They also use 0.5% tolerance 
Japanese TKD film resist metal film resistors at 50 ppm. They also have a two stage hand mat FET FET if you're not sure what that stands for input and output transistors, so very high quality. And because of that, Verse and Audio offer a lifetime warranty between them. So what was the difference between the two, the classic and the Vivid? I used a whole range of headphones from Hi-Fi Man Arias, uh, Shaw 1540s, um, the Beidynamic DT700 Pro X, some IEMs from Theo, some other Sennheisers, Sennheiser 600s as well, some AKG headphones, just to give me a good balance. These were the tracks that I used. So I'm gonna tell you the difference between the two and ultimately the, the, um, the pairing that if I was to pick my favorite, these for a pair are $145. And from the difference in the sound quality that I've got, I definitely think it's worth the upgrade when you can afford it. So it's you can actually buy this op amp as is and with an additional set of the upgraded op amps that you put in yourself. As you can see, it's very easy to do. So look at my notes, the V6 Classic. So I would describe this, with a, this has got a lovely old school tube amp, warm sound uh, with jazz in particular, absolutely phenomenal. So if you're jazz and classical, the V6 Classic is just sublime. It's got a rich warm sound, as I said, it has it increases the bass over the standard op amps are in there. The trebles is slightly brighter, but not too bright. And you get a really wide sound stage. If you're listening to, I found on some very heavy rock tracks, some of the rock tracks, sometimes the bass wasn't quite uh, to my liking, wasn't quite right. There was um, a slight dis distorted bass, but it wasn't. But that's, you get that with a tube amp when you're listening to some of the tube amps, that's that kind of sound you get. But as I said, with, the with acoustic music, with vocals, instrumental, um, classical, absolutely fantastic. And it really has that tube amp sound, which from a modern machine is just, divine. It's a very softy and airy sound, but again, it's got, I don't know, it's just, just really engages you in the music. So if you've got headphones that or equipment that's very dry and neutral, this is actually quite a good pairing to go with the classic. It brings the artists or the singers much closer to you. So you get that real uh, se uh, sense of presence when you're listening to them. And it's like that, you know, you've got them in the room next to you as well. So I was very, 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 very impressed the classic and I thought wow and I, the classics were the first that I put in and I thought I just don't understand why you'd need the Vivid. So let me describe the uh, Vivid op amps from Bursum. These are really amazing, I mean really amazing as well. They have a huge what I would call detailed and dynamic sound, a huge dynamic range, very transparent so with a lot of headphones I tried, just open them up really well. Um, that the, the Playmate too is just phenomenal, I've got to say, with these Vivid amps. You get a really, the, the sound stage comes alive. It's a, you could got, you've got more staging uh, with the sound stage, more for like a 3D sound. It's, it's a slightly warmer sound again, but nowhere near as warm as the classics. So definitely not, a too, not too warm. It has tighter and better bass over the classic. The bass is very dynamic and engaging. So it's sort of, it, for me, I felt like I was toe tapping. It's, it's, it's very crisp, you know, it's very um, precise as well. But at the same time, adds a lot of musicality to the music. I mean, the Playmate 2 is a very musical uh, device as it is, but this just adds to your engagement and you really feel swept into the music and you don't want to stop listening to it and it's, it's a more transparent op amp versus the classic because it's more detailed it has a, a, a very dark background which is you might like it's very precise it's, it works well with IEMs in that sense it gives more say on the sound stage you've got more of a 3D there's better uh, separation and spaces between all the different Parts. So if you listen to an orchestra, you'll start to hear the placement of the different strings or the percussions and that sort of things. And that's versus the V6 Classic. So more detail retrieval, slightly more dynamic, slightly darker, um, transparent. 
also picks up the finest micro details as well. So that's that detail part on this and the treble was more defined. So personally, I because I listen to such a wide range of genres, I mean, literally everything, there's nothing off the table. For me, it's better for me to keep the V6 Vivids um, in the machine. But if you only listen to jazz and or classical and or acoustic or and or instrumental uh, or maybe choir, um, that kind of uh, genres of music, the classic are exceptional. So it does really depend on uh, perhaps if you've got a very analytical, uh, dry, neutral uh, amp, then you, you might, or headphones even, then you might find the classic or the ones to go. But if you listen to a wider genres of music where you have rock and blues and that sort of stuff thumping away, and the Vivids just give you that more detail. For me, I like the, the sort of darker, more dynamic um, sounds from the Vivid. I hope that helps, but if you've got any questions, please let me know. This is Gavin from Gavin's Gadgets. Take care, guys. Bye for now.